All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the grand finale of our prayer and fasting tonight. This is the first of May, and we believe God for the release of its purpose for us in this month of May in the name of Jesus. So I welcome you to this grand finale. I believe that all of us have been waiting on the Lord for the past three days uh, as church members and the past seven days as um, leadership of the church. So we believe God for open heaven upon us in this time that we're going to spend together to look into the word of God, to pray, and to minister to one another as we will be led by the Holy Spirit. And I want to encourage every one of you to open up your heart and open up your spirit to an encounter with the God of heaven and the earth. Open up your heart, open your spirit for an impartation of the word of God, for a touch at your point of need. I believe God tonight that he will hack into you and I as we call upon him and he will minister to us at our points of need in the name of Jesus. I'm going to do an opening prayer now and then we'll get down straight to business. I'm sorry for the late information about the fact that it's going to be Zoom only. Uh, I pray and hope that uh, as many people as possible will still get the notification uh, so that people will not go on Facebook or, or YouTube. And please, if you have um, a minute or two, or maybe you can just text somebody or call somebody or email somebody and let them know we are on Zoom tonight. We are on Zoom only tonight. If you can, those of us on the line, if you can help us spread the word a little bit more to friends, family, colleagues, that uh, the prayer meeting tonight will be on uh, Zoom only. And uh, forward the Zoom link to them so that they can connect and, and join us. That would be highly appreciated so that more, more people can uh, can be part of what God wants to do tonight. All right, so let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for tonight. We appreciate you, the God of heaven and the earth. David said, O ye that answer a prayer unto you shall all men gather. Lord, you told your disciples that these people, they have been with me for three days. I will not let them go empty-handed. I will let them, I will not let them go hungry. Lord, as a church as, and as a congregation, we've been waiting on you for three days and for seven days, as the case may be, some of us more than that. Lord, we ask that your compassion will flow over each and every one of us tonight, that none of us will go hungry, none of us will go thirsty, none of us will go empty-handed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for direct access to your throne of grace, O oh God. We ask, for, we ask for direct access, Lord, to mercy, that we may find grace to help tonight, even in the time of need. Lord, we ask that your angels will minister along. Let your spirit flow through the media, through the airwaves, O oh God, into the homes and offices and abode of each and every one. And let our needs be met. Let no one go back the same way we came into this meeting. Lord, we promise that all the glory will be returned unto you. And we come against every form of distraction. Technological distraction will come against it, physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. We receive grace to stay in touch, to stay on course, and to stay focused. Lord, we connect our altar of prayer right now with the altar of Jesus at your right hand, Father, where he's praying and interceding for us continuously. And we establish communication by the power of the Holy Ghost between the two altars. Let there be traffic to and fro, back and forth. The request will be taken up and result will be brought down. Thank you, the God of heaven and earth. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Amen and amen and amen. All right, I wanted to spend, you know, one or two, the first one or two minutes tonight to just uh, begin to appreciate God for the privilege and the opportunity to appear before him any time we want to. Any time we want to. We are the one that sets the timetable. 7 p.m. tonight, we are the one that set it. And he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be in their midst. And we know he's in our midst already. But the opportunity to gather before him for interaction, for discussion, for deliberation, at any point in time we choose to, it's a privilege. And tonight is another privilege and opportunity we have. Let's begin to appreciate him for that level of access, for that level of freedom, for that level of privilege and opportunity. Go ahead and thank him for what he has been doing in your life. Go ahead and thank him for what he is set to do right now. Go ahead and thank him for what he will yet do. We give you glory. We give you honor, the God of the heavens and the earth. Thank you, our Father, our Father, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We lift up your name tonight above every other name. There is nobody like you. We honor you. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We honor you. We honor you, our God, our maker. We appreciate you for the privilege to appear before you anytime, anytime, anywhere, any day. And you are true to your promise to be in our midst each time two or three of us will gather. We've gathered again tonight and we know you are in our midst already. Thank you for this free access to your throne. None of us can just wake up and go and meet with even the mayor of the city. Not to talk of the governor of, of our state. Not to talk of the president of the country. Not to talk of the God of the heavens and the earth. We cannot even go to them without invitation. We can't go to them without appointment. But our God, does, we do not need invitation to appear before him. We don't need any appointment to appear before him. We set the time. We set the place. Lord, what a privilege we have. Thank you for another privilege tonight to appear before you, our God. And nobody appears before you and go back the same. For the Bible says in your presence, there's fullness of joy. Lord, thank you for full joy that will be our portion tonight. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you, Lord. Zaloba Kora Bashanta Likreboshi Tayaha. Jehovah is your name. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. Enter his gate with thanksgiving. Cross his court with praises in your mouth. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Mighty God, mighty God, glorious God. Everlasting Father, the I am that I am. There is nobody like you. Among all the gods, no one like you. No one like you, no one like you. No one like you, our maker. We worship you, we honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Malarakaba shatala brakotayati lebo karoba satayadidi. Zuzumama shuteli krabota la karaba shitelebo ye karaba. Thank you for tonight. For what you are set to do, O God. We set the atmosphere ready for you. We set our heart ready to receive. Our ears, O God, ready to hear. Yakura bashantali greboshi kalabaha. We set our eyes to see what you are saying. Yakata li keri bosutalim rabosha talala. Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's set the atmosphere ready for the King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. All right, I want you to thank God for the first four months of this year. The first four months of this year, I want you to go ahead and give thanks to God. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. But God has kept you and I. God preserved you and I. He watched over you and I. It has been a trying, a trying, a trying number of weeks, trying number of, of days, trying months, so, so to say. But God has been faithful. Let's go ahead and appreciate him for the first four months that you and I were not in mortuary. We are not in the grave. We are not in emergency room in the hospital. 
it is not by power, it's not by might, it is by his mercies that we are not consumed. Let's appreciate God. We have food on our table. We have shelter on our, over our heads. Let's appreciate God for the first four months of this year. We thank you, God of heaven and earth, for the church, for the ministry, for every business, every, every, every organization, every career, every family, every individual, young, old, male, female. We lift up a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto you. For the first four months of this year, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mashatali Brokotoboyata. Zigede gede begede bogoro boshigadaba. Thank you, Jehovah. Rabosi kalo brakata ba yeketebo. We give you praise. We give you praise. We are grateful, oh God, for the first four months. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are thankful. Zagada gada gada bogoro boshatali brokoto boshitayada. Zagede gede 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 bogoro boshigadaba ligere boshintaya. Zimalu taruba shikalu brakata bayate satalabaha. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you be all the glory. Thank you, Lord. All right. Thank you for praying along. Thank you for setting the atmosphere ready for God. We're going to get ready tonight. Tonight, I want to round up the series we, we started about you know, three or four weeks ago on the power to rise. We want to bring it to a conclusion tonight and we believe God that everything that is still remaining, everything that has not experienced life in our destiny, in our, in our, in our purpose, in our family, in our business, in our career, we want to believe that the power to rise will come upon, or come, up, come upon them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, the power to rise will come upon every situation and every circumstance. And life will surge through. Life will surge through the systems. In the, and there will be impartation of life. There will be impartation of life. You know, when I was preparing for, for this service tonight, for, for this meeting tonight, you know, uh, God said something, you know, to my spirit. He so, said, so you that whatever gets to your hand dies. You know, you that whatever gets to your hand dies. Tonight, the power of life will be released into your hands. That nothing will die in your hand anymore. See, it could be more than one person that God was talking about earlier today. It could be business that dies in your hand. It could be relationship that dies in your hand. It could be money or savings that dies in your hand. Whatever it is that when it, it touches your hand, when you lay your hand on it, you know, it begins to, whatever it is, it begins to experience death. Well, tonight the table is turning in your favor. God has located you. God has heard your cry. God has heard your voice. And your testimony starts now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your testimony starts today in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> so our, prayer, our monthly prayer and fasting, our text scripture for it is taken from the book of Revelation chapter 22. Revelation 22 and verses 1 and 2. Revelation 22, 1 and 2. It says, And he showed me a pure river of water, of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Verse 2. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. This tree yields her fruit every single month. So there is a fruit for the month of May. And on this first day of May, you and I will partake of that fruit. It is called the fruit of life. It is from the tree of life. 
it is nourished by the, by the river of life. So the fruit of life from the tree of life that gets nourishment from the water of life. That is what you are here to partake of. And throughout this month of May, everything dying will come back to life in the name of Jesus. Throughout this month of May, everything dead will resurrect in the name of Jesus. Throughout this month of May, everything that is dying will come, will, will come back to life. Everything that is going down the drain will experience a supernatural turnaround because you are about to taste of the fruit of life for the month of May from the tree of life that gets nourishment from the river of life. That's what is about to happen tonight. And I want you to open your heart to receive your own portion. In Luke chapter 11, verse 2, Luke chapter 11, verse 2, it says, And Jesus said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. John was sharing a revelation of what was revealed to him in heaven that there is a river of water of life that flows in heaven. John, John was given that revelation. He says, you know, the water is clear as crystal and the water proceed out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And he says, in the midst of that street and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruit and yielded her fruit every month. Yielded her fruit every month. So you see the picture of the revelation that John saw, that there's a river of life coming out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Coming out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Which means there are two people occupying that throne, seated on that throne. The Holy Spirit is here with us as a body, as our leader, our guide, our power. But God the Father and the Son, they are on the throne. Because the Bible says that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. And God has made his enemy his footstool while he watches us carry on the rulership and the turning around of the kingdom of this world to the kingdom of our dear God. So, so John was given an opportunity to see what was happening. So Jesus said, when you pray, pray that as it is in heaven, so it will be here on earth. So what obtains in heaven is what ought to obtain here on earth. There is, there is, there is an inspiration of what obtains in heaven here on earth. It is of the desire of God that what's going on in heaven will be going on here on earth. Jesus said that should be a top priority in our prayers. That as the river of life is flowing out of the throne of God and his son in heaven, there is the throne of the father and his son here on earth. And I will show you shortly in the course of this teaching. There is a throne here on earth where the father and his son sits. And so as the river of, of, the, as the river of, 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 of life releases water from that throne in heaven and it nourishes the tree, of, the tree of life to produce the fruit of life every single month, that is how the river of living water is expected to flow out of the throne of God and his son that is here on earth, flow out of it and nourish the tree of life and make it produce fruit of life every single month. Every single month. I'm going to show you this tonight, this powerful teaching. And then we'll begin to pray for one another 
on the basis of this teaching. So it is the will of the Father that what is going on in heaven should be going on here on earth. So if I haven't laid this foundation, I started teaching on the power to rise, which is the power of resurrection, which is the power of life. And I said there are three stages of experiencing it. You know, uh, from death back to life, then from grave back to earth, and then from earth up against the force of gravity. Three levels of rising that the power of life can, you know, implement in our lives. Three levels of rising that the power of life can enhance in our life. That everything that is dead will regain life. And everything that is buried in the, in the grave will come out of grave. And everything that is here on earth that needs to rise to a higher level will rise against gravity. So that was, you know, how we, we, we started sharing. And I, I also shared on how to access it. <coughs> natural encounter as one. <coughs> discuss the word of God as one. Last Sunday we discussed faith as another one. And today we're going to. So today I'm going to talk about, you know, this, this water of life. This water of life is another source of, of life. There is the water of life that gives life. It gives life to every tree of life. It makes the tree of life to produce the fruit of life that anybody who partake of that fruit of life will experience encounter with life. And so we are going to, you know, touch on that today. And uh, on the subject of faith last, last week, I said, it start by believe, and then what you believe, you speak it, and then what you speak, you act on it, and then you maintain your position. You know, four ways to engage faith to produce life. You believe, it's not enough to believe, then you speak what you believe. Let your confession not be contrary to your belief. And then you act based on what you believe and speak so that your action will not contradict your, your belief and your, and, your, and, your, and your pronouncement. And then you maintain your position without wavering, without shaking, without shifting. And then you begin to see the life that faith produces. And so today I want to share about the river of life, the water of life. The water of life. So John saw this throne. The Bible describes it as the throne of God and of his Lamb. And from that throne comes a river of water. And on both sides of this river is the tree of life. This water nourishes it to produce a monthly fruit of life. That, you know, anyone who partakes of it will receive life. And so let's look at some scriptures and see how does this relate to you and I here on earth today and how do we engage that scenario here on earth to get result. First and foremost, John chapter 14 verse 23. John chapter 14 and verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Look at that. If any man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and we, not I, and we, talking about him and his father, will come unto that man and make our abode with him. Listen to me. Right inside of you as a child of God that loves God, right inside of you is the throne of God and his son. 
the throne, the kingdom of God is right inside of you. The throne of God and his, and his son, where they rule and reign from, is right inside of you. He said, this is Jesus speaking, John 14, 23. If any man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Listen to me, the throne that John saw in heaven, that throne is right inside of you. If you are a child of God that loves God, and keep his words. Oh, thank you, Jesus. If you are a child of God that loves him and you keep his word. If Jesus is your Lord and Savior and you love Jesus and you keep the word of Jesus, listen to me, that throne that John saw in heaven, that throne of God and of his son, that throne is, in, is right inside of you. Here on earth. Here on earth. I, 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 I want to share what, you know, one testimony with you some times ago. <clears throat> I think I've shared this in church several times, but it came handy to me now and I want to share it with you. I, I need you to be conscious of the fact that right inside of you in your spirit is the throne of God and of his son and they are abiding with you right now. They are inside of you right now. And the same river of living water that John saw flowing in heaven, that river is flowing in you, is flowing through you and can flow through you now and nourish trees right now and make them bring forth food on a monthly basis. We were about to buy <clears throat> the, the church property and we, we, couldn't, we couldn't get loan from banks because the banks we approached said, we don't have three years uh, accounting uh, record. So they won't give us money. And then we leased, I think we leased for one year or thereabout, and we're about to lose the lease and the money we deposited. And while I was praying, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, it is God in me that is reconciling the world to himself. God in me, reconciling, you know, Jesus in me, reconciling the world to himself. So that, that statement woke up the consciousness that God is inside of me. God is inside of me. That consciousness was awoken that day. And I, a different, you know, dimension of faith, a different dimension of, of, you know, of mindset just rose up in me. And I call, I told, um, uh, you know, our, uh, our church, you know, uh, uh, treasurer then, I said, please call the bank and book an appointment. I want to meet with the president of the bank. And she said to me, the president of the bank does not meet, meet with people who wants to apply for, for loan. It is the vice president in charge of loan or vice president in charge of this that can, you know, that, that we can put up appointment with. But you see, the consciousness of the fact that God, I'm carrying God on my inside, it, it was intoxicating me at that moment in time. So I told her, please just call the head office of that bank and tell them that I want to meet with the, with the president. Because inside of me, I was saying to myself, I will see how God will say he wants to meet with the president of this bank and the president will say he doesn't have time to meet with the president. I will see how the president of this bank will, will refer God to, to his vice president. Lo and behold, they called the bank. The president you know, agreed to meet with me you know, uh, that week. And when we were going, my team had coached me that I should not be the one to talk because I may not know what to say. They, they, you know, it's not my area of strength. There are some you know, uh, terminologies that needs to be said. There are ways you, you build your case and all of that. So we had agreed that the real estate agent who was a member of the church and the, and the, and the attorney, the real estate attorney, who was also a member of the church at that time, and they were part of the building committee, we had agreed that the only two of them would speak to the president so that they can speak the language that can bring out the loan. And so when we got to the bank, they, they usher us into the conference room and the president came with two of his, of his vice presidents and, and looked at me straight away, shook my hand and said, Pastor, what can I do for you? First of all, I was surprised that he, he knew that I was the pastor among the team. So then uh, since I was, you know, we already agreed that I should not talk, then I look over my shoulder to, to, to real estate agents 
and the real estate agent, you know, began the story, told the story, explained the situation, and so on and so forth. And then the, the real estate lawyer jumped in and also, you know, uh, explained the whole thing and all of that. And after, after the two of them has finished speaking, the president of the bank, he looked back again at me. He said, so pastor, what can I do for you? I said, we need $1 million. He said, approved. And then his two vice presidents, one of them leaned over to, you know, to, to, to whisper some words into his ears. I didn't hear what he said, but I believe he was telling him that uh, this approval is uh, maybe it's out of line. You didn't know the story. Uh, let me tell you, maybe he was telling him they have this scenario, they have this situation, they have, I don't know exactly, but I believe that that was what he was doing. But the president, after the vice president finished speaking, the president said, yes, you know, uh, uh, let's approve it and they can sort all of that out later. He, he spoke that, you know, you know, loudly and we had, so I knew that the guy was telling him reasons why, you know, uh, uh, it should not be approved for us. Why did I share this with you? I shared with you because that day, the consciousness of the fact that God was in me reconciling the world to himself just took my, my, my mindset to a different level. And the level at which my mindset was operating at that time, no man in the physical could resist it. No man in the physical could step it down. The same, the same thing I want you to, uh, to, 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 to the same spirit and, and consciousness, I want you to catch, latch onto tonight. Jesus said, if anyone loves me, let him keep my word. And if you love me and keep my word, he said, my father will first of all love you, number one. Number two, he said, we, me and my father, we come unto you and make our abode with you. So let that consciousness rise in you that God and Jesus, are, they, they, are, they are abiding with you and that throne of God and of Jesus is right inside of you right inside of you. And look at what John chapter 7 verse 38 says. John chapter 7 verse 38, he said, he that believed on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly, from the throne of, the, of God and of, of his son, in your belly, he said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water shall flow out of the belly of he that believeth on me. And John said, I saw a throne in heaven of God and of his son. And there's a river of life that is flowing from that throne. And on both sides of the river are trees of life and they bring forth their fruit on a monthly basis. Glory be to God. The Bible says we shall be called trees of righteousness. Trees of righteousness. So everyone in your life, everyone around you, in your family, they are trees of righteousness. And right from, from your inside, right from your belly, right from the throne of God and of his son, inside of you ought to flow river of living water unto them that will nourish them and make them produce on a monthly basis. Listen to me, after this revelation tonight, nothing around you is permitted to die. The Bible talks about tree that is planted by the rivers of water. He said he bringeth forth his fruit in due season. His leaves never withers. There is a, there's a throne inside of you as you love God and keep his word. As you believe in Jesus, there is a throne of God and of his son inside of you. And out of that throne in your belly flows rivers of living water. Glory be to God. I'm so excited tonight. Uh, this powerful revelation that I'm sharing with you. You carry inside of you what John saw. You carry what inside of you what John saw. This river of life that makes trees bring forth fruit on a monthly basis. You carry that 
that river inside of you, that throne is inside of you, that river is flowing, you know, it's, it's flowing through your, from your belly. It can flow to anyone and everyone. It can flow to your business. It can flow to your career. It can flow to, no wonder Laban said, since this guy came to me, I noticed that God is beginning to bless me because of him. Things have turned around for me. What was not working before was now working. Why? Because even under the Old Testament, there was a river of life that was being released through, through, through you know, uh, uh, Jacob's life. Not to talk of you and I that are under the New uh, Testament. Ephesians says, Ephesians 5.26, it said that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Now listen to me. Water in the realm of the spirit can also mean the word. I know there are you know, you know, few things that water can, can, you know, uh, can, can, can mean in the realm of the spirit. But one of the, of the you know, significance of water in the realm of the spirit, one of the allegory of water in the realm of the spirit is the word of God. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it, cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Ephesians 5.26. So, so the word washes like water. The word is compared to water here. That you can wash something, you can wash something and cleanse something. You know, you know, you know, you can cleanse something with the washing of water by the word of God. So the word of God is 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 is, is described as water, you know, in the realm. Of the spirit. So this river of living water that is inside of you, that is that that is flowing from the throne of God and of his of his son from inside of you is released by pronouncement, is released through words, because words is described and depicted as water in the realm of the spirit. So from your inside, you can release words of rivers of living water and whatever it, it touches, it cleanses it, it washes it, 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 it gives it nutrients, you know, it, it gives it supply of, of energy and, and it makes it produce. It releases life on it and makes it produce. So from, 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 the, from your belly flows the word, the word, the word of life, the word of life, which is the river of the living water, the word of life, which is the river of living water. And as you make those pronouncements, as you release those words, they begin to impact life into every situation and circumstance that is dead or experiencing death. That was exactly what happened in Ezekiel chapter 37, which we have been sharing. God took Ezekiel there and out of the belly of Ezekiel, God told Ezekiel, make pronouncement, prophesy over the valley of dry bone. And as Ezekiel prophesied, life came upon them and bones came back together to bones. Flesh came upon it and skin covered it. God told him, prophesy again from your belly. And he prophesied from his inside. And the river of living water again was released over them and life came upon them and arose great army. There was an instance, instance in Mark chapter 5, Mark chapter 5, when a man approached Jesus and said, my daughter is sick and is about to die. And Jesus was making his way to the house of this man and there was an interruption. A woman touched his garment and, you know, the issue of blood of that, in the life of that woman dried up. And so there was a little... And... Before that drama was over, message came that, Master, you don't even need to come anymore. The lady, the young lady is dead. 
Jesus said, no, she's just sleeping. And Jesus went there and spoke. He said, Talita Kumi, the word of living water was released, river of living water that makes, you know, everything it touches to receive life. That word came out of the mouth of Jesus onto that girl and everything that was dead in her came back to life. Talita Kumi, releasing the river of living water that flows through your belly by, by the spoken word out of your mouth prophetic utterance out of your mouth. In another scenario in John chapter 11, verse 43, Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus that was dead and buried for three days, Jesus released the same river of living water from his belly. He said, Lazarus, comfort, and everything that was dead inside of, you know, in Lazarus' life, came back to life, and Lazarus walked out of that grave on his two feet. So right inside of you resides the throne of God and of his son, and from there flows rivers of living water, and you release it through the spoken words, you know, prophetic utterance that comes out of your mouth. You release it, and everywhere it it goes, everything it touches, it makes them produce regularly in their due season. Their leaves never with us. On a monthly basis, fruit are released. And this month of May, on this first day of the month of May, not only will you and I partake of the fruit of life for this month, you will also release the fruit of life for this month onto situation and circumstances, onto people's lives around you and there shall be performance in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are going to pray. You and I, we are going to pray. And then, uh, you know, at the, at the end of our prayer, as we round up our prayer, we'll partake of the communion because that's another way to contact the power to rise. In John chapter 6, verse 57, John 6, 57, he said, as the living father had sent me and I live by the father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. He shall live by me. The power of life will be received by the person. And the person can live by me. Just as he, you know, as he said in Matthew 4, 4. Jesus said in Matthew 4, 4 he, Jesus answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So the way man lives by bread, that's the way man can live by Jesus when you eat the flesh of Jesus and drink his blood. He said, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. You know, man shall not live by bread alone. As you live by bread, as we live by food that we eat, that's how one can live by eating Jesus. Because, you know, the flesh and the, and the blood of Jesus is another food. It's a spiritual food that we eat. As you live by bread, the normal bread, that's how you can live by this bread of life that we take in the communion. So we're going to partake of communion today. Before we enter into some serious session of prayer, I want you to go ahead and get ready your communion token. Get bread, get you know, the soda or water or cookies or whatever, whatever it is, get it ready because I want us to enter into some serious session, serious session of releasing the water, the, the, the water of the river of life to release it over situation and circumstance, to release it over issues of life. This river, wherever it flows, the Bible says it gives healing to the nations. It gives healing to the nations, wherever it flows. And that throne is right inside of you. That throne is right inside of me. And out of that throne in our belly, we flow rivers of living water tonight. So get your communion token ready. And let's spend some quality time, maybe, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes of quality prayers. You know, fire, fire brand prayer. Prayer that availed much. You know, heartfelt, heartfelt prayer that availed much. That's what I want us to engage in. 
in the name of Jesus. So I want us to get ready. Let's begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. As many of you that are born again and you are, you are baptized in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues, I want you to begin to stir up your most holy faith. I want you to begin to stir up your most holy faith. So Something is about to happen, brethren. Something is about to happen. God spoke into my hearing early hours of today that there is somebody that anything he touches starts dying. And today, there will be a flow of the river of living water even into the hand of this person or this person. And from this day forward, whatever you touch, we begin to prosper. The Bible talks about Jacob. He said God made everything he did to prosper in his hands. God made everything he did to prosper in his hand. Let's begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Zazuzu mashi kataba ni krebo shoto boya ha. Zegada da li gede gede be gede bo ko shoto ni ba ye gede bo. Zabu karuma shatali geri bo shoto ni bayate. Ziga gege gaga gaga gugu maja gaga. Ziga laba li gede bo shoto lo boli graba shataya. Ziga gege gugu gaga gaga. Imbrada satoli kariba sutaya. Stay up your most holy faith. Raboshi Kalabra Gadaba Yike de Boko Dobo Yigadaba. Zige de Gede 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 Zagagugu Gagali Gede 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 Zazaze Gede Gede Boko Sobo Lokoro Boshitaya Ziga Gele Gele Bolo Kolo Boshata Ibra Gedawaya Sige we karaba shigala bali gere bo shoto. Ibra de ka shopla kalaba yikle bo ligara ba shata. Zige de bo godo bo shigara ba yande. Zabuka toba kere bo shikata ba likre bo shikata ba yata. Zaba ba 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 ba. Zige de ge de be ge de bo godo bo godo bo shida ba. Zabe ge de be ge de bo godo bo shogo godo bo. Zage be ge de bo godo bo godo bo shigara ba. Zige be ge de bo godo bo godo bo shinda. Zuge de ge de be ge de bo godo bo. Zage be ge de bo godo bo shanda. Zige ge ge de bo godo bo shigara ba. Raga da ba godo bo godo bo shanta. Ziga go ga go ga go ga go ga go ga go. Raga ga 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 ga. Raga da ga da ga da ga da ga da. Zige de ge Zagede gede 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 zage de gede 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 bo zuza zaza likeri bo so kolobo thank you heavenly father blessed be your holy name in jesus mighty name we have prayed i want you to pray tonight you are going to activate the flow of the river of living water that is inside of you you are going to activate the, the throne of the father and the and his son that is inside of you you're going to activate it to begin to release water to begin to release water you know if you are digging a well there's a point you get to and you just see water will just spring forth come and do you know if the well is well dug until jesus come the well will be full of water if you get to the to the to the to the beginning of some rivers, you will be amazed. Rivers that look big down the line, if you trace them to their source, the water is just coming out of one spot like that, and by the time it continuously flows, it becomes a river. It becomes a river. So we are going to ignite the the river of living water that is inside of us tonight, we're going to ignite it to begin to flow. And listen to me, everywhere you go from this day, as many of you that will pray in faith tonight, everywhere you go from this day forward, there will be evidence of life. Every, even in the wilderness, when rivers spring forth in the wilderness, it becomes a forest. Things will begin to grow. Grasses will begin to grow. Even trees will begin to grow. We're going to, to ignite the flow of the river of living water from our inside tonight, that everywhere we go, nothing will be permitted to die. Nothing will be permitted to die. You are going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, because I love you, 
because I love you and you are my Lord and my Savior. And I believe you. The Bible says if I believe you out of my belly, we flow the river of living water. Because you are the Lord and Savior of my life, I love you and I'm keeping your word. You see, I want you to know that, you know, keeping his word and, and loving him, we are doing that on the, on the ticket of, 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 of mercy and grace, on the ticket of righteousness of Christ Jesus. So you are qualified. Don't let the devil speak any negativity to your mind. Don't let the devil whisper anything to your mind right now. Don't let the devil tell you you don't love Christ. Don't let the devil tell you that you don't keep his word. We stand on the righteousness of Jesus. We stand on the perfected work of Christ because our own righteousness, our self-righteousness is a filthy rag, you know, rag in the eyes of God. We stand on the righteousness of Jesus because by the shedding of the blood, there's remission of sin. He shed his blood for the remission of our sin. We stand on his righteousness and we proclaim that we love him and we keep his word. So on the basis of that, I want you to begin to release the river of living water from your belly over the situation and circumstances around you. I want you to start to release the word of faith, the word of life over situation and circumstances. Speak to the organs of your body to receive life. I release life from, you know, the Bible says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. The life part of it is what I want you to release first tonight. There is the life, there is life in the power of your tongue. There is life in the power of your tongue. It is a flow of the river of living water. I want you to begin to relieve, to, re to release life that is in the power of your tongue over situation and circumstances in your life. The organs of your body speak life unto it. The business in your hand, the career in your hand, the ministry in your hand, the people around you, everyone inside the house where you live, everyone in your street or your subdivision, everyone in the city where you live, everyone in your place of work. I want you to begin to release life. There is the power to live. The Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. There is life in the power of the tongue. I want us to begin to release that life by the power of our tongue over situation and circumstances around us. My business received life tonight. My ministry received life. My career received life. Every organ in my body received life. Every member of my family received life. I speak life over every member of Jubilee. I speak life over every member of my family. I speak life over my children, biological, spiritual, or adopted. I speak life over everything that I lay my hands on. I speak life in, around, and about me. I speak life, the life of God. The power of my tongue can release life. The power in my tongue can release life from the throne of God and his son that is inside of me. There is a release of life that can come out of me. There is a flow of living water that can come out of me. I release that life over situation and circumstances. I release life from my tongue tonight over house of glory. I release life from my tongue tonight over house of glory family churches. I release life out of my tongue tonight over Jubilee worldwide. I release release life over the body of Christ. My family receive life. My marriage receive life. My business receive life. My health receive life. My finances receive life. Either speak life, speak life, begin to release it like a river. Begin to release it like a river. Release it by faith. Release it like a river. 
Zaba la bali gele bo yiga la bali gele bo liga la ba. Out of the out of my belly, from the throne of the Father and of His Son, because I love Jesus and I keep His word. Him and His Father, they they have made their abode with me. They have made their abode with me. Their throne is in me, and from my belly of from the my, from that throne in my belly in my spiritual belly flows the river of living water. Every Everywhere this river go, goes, there shall be monthly production in the name of Jesus. There shall be regular productivity. There will be no barrenness. The Bible says anyone that does, you know, do the will of God, it will be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. He said he bring out his fruit in due season, his leaf never withers, and everything he doeth will, will you know, prosper. Lord, every tree planted by the river, they are are meant to prosper. Lord, everyone planted around me, everyone around me, Lord, I release power to prosper over them. Everything around me, every business around me, every career around me, every ministry around me, I release the power to prosper. I release the power of life on them in the name of Jesus. Nothing around me is permitted to die. Nothing that I do is permitted to die. Nothing that I lay my hands on is permitted to die. Nothing in my children's life is permitted to die. Nothing in my husband, my wife's life is permitted to die. Nothing in the church that I pastor is permitted to die. Nothing in the churches I oversee is permitted to die. Nothing, nothing is permitted to die. I, I release the flow of the river of life. My yikalo brakatal, open your mouth and pray. Brethren, open your mouth and pray. Release the river of life. Release the river of life. Let it flow through your belly. Let it it flow through your belly to everything and anything around you. Your children, your husband, your wife, your business, your career, your ministry, the organs of your body, your health, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. We release it into hospitals. We release it to isolation centers. We release it to the life of to the lives of, of our of our front runners. Our medical, our, our, our healthcare givers, our 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 security agents. Agencies, our our special special services providers. We release the river of living water. We release the river of living water. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Everywhere you go, brethren, throughout this month, I want you to consciously and intentionally release the river of living water. When you get to your place of work, release some dimension. When you get to your family meeting, release some dimension. You get into the car, release some dimension. Everywhere you go, be, be intentional about it. Release some dimension of river of living water. You don't have to shout to say that, to release it. You can speak it silently and release it, that everywhere you go, life will spring forth. Life will spring forth in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for every one of you. I'm going to release the river of living water inside of me. I'm going to release it while you like. But before we do that, I want us to partake of the flesh and the blood of Jesus. He said, everyone that eateth me will live by me. As a man live by bread, that's how man can live by the flesh and the blood of Jesus. So let's take our communion token. Let's take it. Let's take it. Prepare your communion token. 
that is another way of contacting life. Jesus said, as my, as my living father, see the way he put it, as my living father, not my dead father, as my living father has sent me, and I live by the father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. Say, man shall not live by bread alone. The way man lives by bread in the physical, that is how you can live by the bread of life. This bread is the bread of life. We can live by it the way we live by the physical bread in the physical. You live by the bread of life in the realm of the spirit. If you cannot die spiritually, you cannot die physically. So lift it up, Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit the communion token tonight into your hands. Let it cease to be bread. Let it become the bread of life, the flesh of Jesus. Let it cease to be wine. Let it become the blood of Jesus. And Lord, by it tonight, each and every one of us, we partake of the fruit of life for the month of May. We partake of it, O oh God, as we eat your flesh, we are eating the fruit of life for the month of May. As we drink your blood, we are drinking of the fruit of life for the month of May. There is a tree in heaven that yields her fruit every single month. And where it flows to, it gives healing to the nation. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we receive our portion of the fruit of life for the month of May that none will die in the month of May. And nothing around us will die in the month of May. We receive our portion of life for the month of May in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. Go ahead and partake of it, then I will pray for us. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. I want you to stay up your faith as I begin to make pronouncement, as we bring this series to a close, and we bring this three days fasting, or seven days fasting, or 14 days as the case may be, to a close. In the name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I know that I know that I know that I know that there is the throne of the Father and of His Son right inside of me. I know that I know that I know that the Father and His Son has made their abode with me. And out of their throne flows forth the rivers of living water. And that's why He said, if we believe in Him out of our belly, we comfort the, the river of living water. I believe in you, Lord Jesus. And having, part, having taken the, the, the flesh and, and the blood that you left behind for us, partaking of it tonight is another receipt of a new dimension of your life into my body system. And on that basis, I begin now, O oh God, through the power of my tongue to release life on every situation that has appeared before God in this meeting right now, every circumstance that has appeared before God, and over every person, every individual that has appeared before you in this meeting, I release the river of living water I release life into those situations and circumstances as I pray in the Holy Ghost. Zagolabo kashotali kaligali galubaya katabaya tata. Zigegegegegele kele boshata ligra boshata ya ba yedebo. 
imagudu gada gudu gada ligi ni galaga ligi she galaga ya zima mama 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 ma ya gaga gaya gala 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 ba yi gaga gaya ke 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 ye te te ke 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 azuzu ma shateli aburaka tali ke li karuma ha shateli ke le bo ye dada aze gago gale ke li bo sotoli gari ma shi kalaba ye te li bo koru bo shi kataba ya zibale be kere bo shi kalaba yi ge de bo li gada ba li receive the the river of life receive the water of life receive the water of life receive the water of life in the name of jesus over your life over your situation over your circumstance you that things die in your hand receive the life of god now nothing dies in your hand again nothing will die in your hand again whatever you touch will begin to prosper god will make things to begin to prosper in your hand in the name of jesus christ every wilderness around you begin to become forest by the by the nourishment of the river of life everything that is withering receive life by the watering of the river of life marigada bolokorobo shigaraba the power to live everything that is dead or dying i release life over to situation and circumstances your business your career your marriage i release life over it from the power of my tongue in the mighty name of Jesus i decree that nothing is is allowed to die around you nothing is permitted to die around you nothing will die in your family in your job in your career in your ministry in your destiny in your purpose nothing will die in your body i release the life of god into the organs of your body in the name of Jesus oh thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to the Lamb. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed.